Well, hallelujah, friends, and blessings. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus Christ is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together the people of God say, hallelujah. Well, friends, today is the first video of our new series, Hymns Expounded. We're going to be looking at an old hymn entitled, Since Jesus Came Into My Heart. And what better place to start than where we began? when we met our Savior, the Lord Jesus, for the first time. And although the theology of Jesus coming into our hearts isn't entirely accurate, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, and he bestows his Spirit in our hearts, yet it is true, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are three in one. So if the Spirit is in our hearts, Jesus is in our hearts as his Spirit. But his physical presence is not contained within us. He is at the right hand of the Father, praying and interceding for us on our behalfs. Now, before we actually look at the song itself, let me give you some background. This song was written by Rufus McDaniel in the early 1900s. And the reason that he wrote this song is because he had three children, and one of those children died at an early age. And if you are a parent, you can imagine the pain, the heartache, and the misery that he and his wife endured through this loss. And as he contemplated this before his Lord, in seeking to maintain his joy, his faith, and his hope through this trial that he was facing, he sat down and he penned these words. And the message that he is implying here is that when we face the most difficult issues of life, it's important for us to go back to the cross, go back to the moment of salvation, because that's where our faith lies, that's where our hope lies, that's where our peace lies, that's where our joy lies. And that faith, hope, joy, and peace transcends any problem that we can face in this life. So as you contemplate the mindset of this man through this tragic loss in his life, listen to the words that he wrote. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought. Do you remember, friend, who you were, what you were before you met the Savior? Do you remember the sin in your life, the rebellion in your heart, the darkness in your soul? And yet, in a moment of time, what a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. I have light in my soul for which long I had sought since Jesus came into my heart. Verse 2, I have ceased from my wandering and going astray since Jesus came into my heart. You know, the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that as we become new creations in Christ, old things are passed away, all things are become new. And we cease from our wondering, our seeking, and our searching, and going astray. Because Jesus has come in our heart. We've repented. We've turned around. We've set our sights upon the kingdom. And we've turned our backs upon this world. My sins, which were many, are all washed away since Jesus came into my heart. There's no sin too big for him to forgive. There are no sins too many for him to wash away. Verse 3, I'm possessed of a hope that is steadfast and sure since Jesus came into my heart. What is that hope, friend? It's the hope that we will leave these bodies of misery, suffering, and pain behind, and we will join our God, our Lord, and our King in the heavens and live eternally with Him in pure light, pure love, and absolute joy. No dark clouds of doubt, now my pathway obscure, since Jesus came into my heart. They'll try, friends. The problems of this world will try to weigh us down. But we have to remember that there is a purpose behind each misery, behind each form of suffering that we face. 
There is a purpose that God has planned for us. And as you can now look back on the suffering in your life, you can see the benefit. But when we are going through that suffering, there's nothing to look back upon because we are standing in it. And so take your previous sufferings and let them remind you that there is light at the end of the tunnel when you face new sufferings each and every day. Verse 4, there's a light in the valley of death now for me. What did David say? Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because there's a light in the valley of death now for me. It's not darkness. It's light. And the gates of the city beyond I can see. They no more are a thought or an imagination, but they're a reality. As we leave this life, and we enter into eternity, the gates of the city we shall see. Verse 5, I shall go there to dwell. In that city I know. We can count on it, friends, because he promised it. And God is a God who cannot lie. And he says, I'm happy so happy as onward I go. Is your journey one of bliss and joy, friends? Are you skipping along? Or are you down on your hands and knees struggling just to crawl? Well, he says here we can happily go along our journey. Why? Because Jesus has come into our heart. Why? Because a wonderful change in our life has been wrought. We have ceased from our suffering and going astray. We're possessed of a hope that is steadfast and sure. Because Jesus has come into our hearts. The chorus, as you're probably very familiar with, says, Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy o'er my soul, like the sea billows roll, since Jesus came into my heart. Friends, I want to leave you with a rendition of this old gospel favorite. And as you listen, don't only listen with your ears, but allow your soul to attach itself to the music and words contained within this song, and may your heart be elevated to places you've never known before. Enjoy the hymn, friends. I love you as Yahweh wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought. Since Jesus came into my heart, I have light in my soul, for which long I have sought. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart. Of that city beyond I can see Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Thoughts of joy o'er my soul Like a sea below strong Jesus.
So 